What's good, YouTube? What's good, YouTube? Today, man, I got my brother with me, Alon. <laughs> Come on, bro, with me, man. And today, man, we finna go win some shows for the kingdom. We finna go hit the mall, man. Go do some public interviews and talk. You know, pretty much spread the gospel. And um, yeah, this platform is for that. You know, I feel God been tugging on my heart to just use my platform, use what, and tell people about the gospel in, in different ways. And yeah, man. So today, man, we finna go spread the, spread the word of God, man. In Jesus' name, man, we gonna win some souls. I believe today is. Gonna be a special day in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Man, it's that time. <laughs> so yeah, man, that's what we finna go do, man. God bless y'all. Make sure y'all tune in. I mean, what's your name? Jada. So Jada, I want to ask you the most important question: Is what's the purpose of life for you? Um, I'm still working on it. Like I'm, I'm still working on it. Yeah, cause like for me personally, like. My whole life, I've been trying to, like, basically find the purpose of life. Like, what does life really actually means? And, um, you know, I was in the music industry. I was in a, in a fashion business. I was, you know, having money in the world. And I thought, like, the purpose of life was, you know, my gifts. I thought, like, me making music, me rapping, me being in a relationship. So all of that was my purpose. And, I, and so when, when I felt like that was my purpose, I put my identity into that. And when I put my identity into that, I actually lost who I was because I was trying to fulfill that identity, which was a false identity. I thought me working a job, me trying to make money, a career, a this, that, and a third was 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 the purpose. But in reality, you don't know the purpose unless you know the creator that gave you the purpose of your life. And that was for me. Like, I was always searching deeply, like, deeply. Like, I'm talking about, like, deep. Like, as you can see, I got 11, 11 tags. I was into spiritual stuff that... You know, I thought it was a part of God, but it really wasn't. It was all deception. And I'm just here to let you know that the way to find that purpose is Jesus Christ. You know what I mean? And it's not about, like, a religion. Because people hear the word Jesus and they think, like, a religious thing. You know, one thing about Jesus, he's about relationship, a personal relationship. Like, when you wake up in the morning, pray. Instead of going running to Instagram, you pray to God. I actually talk to him. Like, like as I'm talking to you right now, I walk right here. I just walk and I just be like... God, I'm going through this right here. Da, 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 da. Like I need, I need help with this situation, and then he'll answer. And it's like wow, like and just constantly fellowshipping with somebody. You know what I mean? And a lot of people always say like, yeah, I know Jesus, I know Jesus, but at the same time, they don't really know. Yeah, like think about it like this. Think about it like this. You got a, you got a brand new house, right? Jada just bought a brand new house, right? Boom, and you never see me. I come knocking on your door like, yo, you know me, Jada. You never spend time with me though. Are you gonna let me in your house? Why? Because you don't know me. Don't know and that's the same thing with God. People think they know him, but they don't really know him. Like, I can know of you. I can see you on Instagram. I can hear about you. But I never actually spent time with Jada to know her. And that's the same thing with Jesus, literally. So I would just encourage you, like, you know, if you don't know Jesus, like, well, first and foremost, would you like to know Jesus? Of course. Like, would you like to give your life to him right now? Because tomorrow's not promised, you know? Yeah. And I don't want you to feel forced or anything, but this moment was God literally highlighted you, you know? Like, you was here. You, anybody else could have been here. Anybody else could have been interviewing anybody else. But God highlighted you to speak to you. You could give your life to him right now, and your life literally will never be the same. We could, like, he'll tell you, like, he came from a, a, the worldly background. There's girls in our church that just like you, you know what I mean, came from this, came from this life that's trying to seek, you know what I mean? And you'll get discipled. But right now, it starts literally right now. Because you don't know if you walk away, God forbid, you don't know where you're going. You don't know. Because without Jesus, it's destruction. Right. So would you like to give your life to him right now? Yeah. I, all, you, all I need you to do is just follow a prayer. And just literally repeat the prayer after me. All right, let's go. Lift your hands up. Just receive right now. Say, Dear Heavenly Father. Dear Heavenly Father. I confess my sins right now. I confess my sins right now. I confess that I am a sinner. I confess I am a sinner. And I am in need of saving. And I'm in need of saving. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Come into my heart right come now. Come into my heart right now. Forgive me of all sins. Forgive me of all sins. Cleanse me. Cleanse me. With your blood. With your blood. I believe. I believe. That you rose. That you rose. And you resurrected. And you resurrected. On the third day. On the third day. And I believe. And I believe. In my heart. In my heart. That you died on the cross. That you died on the cross. For my sins. For my sins. And I confess out my and mouth. And I confess out my mouth. That you are Lord. That you are Lord. Over my life. Over my life. Satan. Satan. Take your hands off me. Take your hands off me. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I accept you. I accept you. Into my heart. Into my heart. Into my mind. Into my mind. Into my life. Into my life. Father. Father. Write my name. Write my name. In the Lamb's book. 
in the Lamb's book of life. Of life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray. I pray. Amen. Amen. The angels in heaven rejoicing right now. Do you know that? I'm telling you, they're rejoicing. They're clapping right now for you. They're like, they're going crazy. Wow. It, the Bible say heaven rejoices when one soul comes to repentance. Now, when when this happens, now it's like, now the enemy just seen this, right? Now it's like, you need discipleship now. Now it's like, okay, I just gave my life to Christ. Now I need a discipleship. So what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to take your information, right? And I'm going to lead you to, to I'm gonna, the church is not far from here. It's in Darien. I'm, I, yeah, Darien. And it's, I'm telling you, you're going to see, I'm going to show you, like, it's girls just like you in, in our church and everything that you could relate to and talk to. And they'll disciple, they'll disciple you, like literally be there for you. Um, when you when you're struggling, you you feel like you don't know the word. They're gonna be there for you. So I just want to encourage you, and I just want to say thank you for even speaking to me. You know, taking your time out, and just know that your life is not gonna ever be the same. You literally just did the most important thing in your whole life right now. It might seem like wow, like I don't know what just happened today, but just trust me. You one day God you're one day. No you feel me? He's not. He's not. He don't he's make able. mistakes, and he's gonna show you that. He's gonna show you that. So I just thank you, and I just want to say God bless you. God bless you, too. Thank Amen. you so much. You said the prayer. You gave your life to him. So he's ready for you. He's ready to pray. I'm excited for you. I don't think you get it. I'm really excited for you, for this life that you're about to walk into. Are you excited? <laughs> I won't, because everything that you because you told me part of it yesterday, you've been through some stuff. And the heartache that you feel, the holes that are there, the aching, the, 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 the craziness, it sends you down a spiral. I've been there. He's been there. It's too much. Yeah. Nobody can handle it by itself. He wants to help you. You ready to pray? Yeah. All right, boom. Heavenly Father, Lord, I come to you now. We come to you. Jada comes to you, Heavenly Father, Lord. Your word says to come before your throne boldly. Come before your throne of come before your throne of mercy boldly, Heavenly Father, Lord, so that we may receive grace in times of need, Heavenly Father, Lord. So we come before you now. We ask Heavenly Father Lord that everything that she's dealing with, everything that she's going through, Heavenly Father Lord, may be broken off of her life. May you come into her, Heavenly Father Lord, and fill every void, fill every hole, fill every vacuum, Lord. You know the things that she cries out to you. You know the, you know the tears that she's shed. You know the loss that she's experienced, Heavenly Father Lord. We come to you now and pray that you protect your baby girl. We pray, Heavenly Father Lord, that you surround her. You put your arms around her. Heavenly Father Lord, your word says that the Holy Spirit is a comforter. So we pray that you, that you show up and allow her to experience you and your spirit as a comforter, Heavenly Father, Lord. We pray that you touch her today. We pray that every, every bit of stone within our heart, you remove it in the name of Jesus. We pray, Heavenly Father, Lord, that every spirit of, 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 of disorganization, every spirit of chaos, every spirit of fear, every spirit of, 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 of a chaotic mind, all the voices, Heavenly Father, Lord, we pray that they're silenced today in the name of Jesus. We plug her ears with your fire today, God. Heavenly Father, Lord, and we, we usher her into your presence today. We know that she, that, she, that she wants to know you. We know that she is seeking to have a relationship with you now. She's given her life to you. So we pray, Heavenly Father, Lord, that every situation, Lord, every demon that's contending with her, Heavenly Father, Lord, every, every circumstance that's fighting with her, Heavenly Father, Lord, every mindset that she's, that she's caught up in, Heavenly Father, we pray that you contend with every single one of those things. You are a healing God. You are a God who wins the war. You are God who shows up and completes it. Heavenly Father, Lord, you began it. So we ask that you complete it today in Jesus' name. As she continues to work, as she continues to go about her day, Heavenly Father, Lord, we pray that you stick with her. Heavenly Father, Lord, there will be people who come against her to speak opposite of what we're saying. There are people who will try to convince her, Heavenly Father, Lord, that the things of your kingdom are not worth it. But we pray that her ears be shut off to their demonic voices, Lord. And that they only be open, Heavenly Father, Lord, to the things of your kingdom. That they only be open to sound doctrine. That they only be open to the light, Heavenly Father, Lord. We pray that she, that she, that she begins to desire your word. She, she continues to desire fellowship with you, Heavenly Father, Lord. We pray that every desire within her that is not of you, that it be broken off now in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for her life. We thank you for the love that you have for her. We thank you that you see her. We thank you that you recognize her. We thank you that you've woken her up again today, God, with a purpose and a plan for her life, with an expected end, Heavenly Father, Lord, to give her hope and a future, Lord. The loss is not the end. The loss is not even the present, Lord. There's so much that you want to do with her. There's places that you want to take her, Heavenly Father, Lord. So we pray that as you take her through the process of liberty, as you take her through the process of freedom, Heavenly Father, Lord, that you allow her to learn about who she is in you, 
and to learn about, about the things that you have for her in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you too. I'm happy. I bet you. And I'm happy that I seen you again today. I really was thinking about you. Last night I went home and I'm like, nah, I gotta go back. I gotta pray for her. I gotta see her again. And now look, my friend came with me. Right. Like, all of this is meant to be. Right, now, literally just talking about you. You just want to walk into it. Right. That's amazing. And when you said that, I was like, what? That's crazy. <laughs> you literally were talking about me and then we showed up. Right. Listen, there's, there's people in here that are going to try to sway you away from what we're telling you. And it's not even our own words. We don't come in our own name. We come in the name of Jesus Christ. It's not about us. It's about you and your journey. There are people who are going to try to tell you differently. Even, even the relationship that you're in right now, there are things that are going on that are going to try to take you back to where you came from. That are going to try to take you away from where God is trying to bring you. Fight it. Pray. Listen, I asked you, what do you need from me? You said just to be there. I'll be there. Call me, text me, anytime. Yeah? I got you. All right. Come on. Thank I you love so much. You. Yes, yes, yes. Nice